Well, I'm going to the Galapagos and that is has been one of the biggest spots at the very top of my bucket list for so long and I'm finally going there this month. I'm so, I, I'm just so thrilled to go. And as I've been planning for my trip, I've actually encountered a few unexpected surprises, um, particularly with the weather. And because I'm not going on a traditional Galapagos cruise or on a traditional Galapagos um, island adventure, I'm actually going to be scuba diving during my trip and that's for me as a scuba diver that's one of the biggest motivations for me to go to the Galapagos. A few things that I have to keep in mind is because even though it may be the temperature may be warm on the outside when you're spending an extended amount of time under the water it lowers your body temperature. First of all I'm going to start with a couple of warm weather pieces and you're probably thinking okay it's summer that's the last thing I need to know about but some of you might be going on adventure trips or you might be planning some outdoor some outdoor um, hikes long extended periods of um, long-term travel and whatnot so what I have and I'll explain to you my purchase don't judge me as the editor-in-chief of Travel Fashion Girl but I did buy a new fleece the reason why I bought a fleece was because I'll be spending a lot of time um, diving. Fleece is moisture wicking and it's also really warm. So let me show you the one that I bought. The reason why I purchased this one, and here's the stylish end of it, is because it matches my waterproof jacket. <laughs> I thought that the gray um, match would go really nicely with the blue color so that way there's not too much clashing going on for those pictures um, in the boat. So on the boat, and in this case, this fleece, the reason why fleece makes sense for this trip is because part of the reason I'll need to be warm after being in the water, in between dives as I'm drying off, my body will have moisture from the ocean, and if I'm cold, the fleece will be able to keep me warm, but it'll also be able to dry off in between my dives. So that is a really important um, reason why I chose to travel with fleece versus a merino wool hoodie, for example. In this case, one of the, um, the advice from one of our readers was to actually travel to the Galapagos um, for the scuba diving trip with active wear. So things you would use um, to the gym, such as leggings, um, long sleeve moisture wicking fitness tops, and other items um, more um, less fashion-y, less cruise, cruise wear, and more practical. So I try to find a balance by choosing um, an item, a practical item that would hopefully, that would look nice with my, um, my waterproof jacket. And normally when I travel, I don't actually, uh, I don't usually wa take a, tra a waterproof jacket unless, like this, unless I'm specifically going to be on an adventure or an outdoors trip. If I was going to Paris or London, for example, this is not what I would be wearing, but um, this is what I like to wear, obviously, when I'm going outdoors. And since I'll be on a boat and there, there might be rain and it's expected to be cold, I have this, um, this Columbia waterproof jacket that I've actually, this is not, this is the only not new item on my list to share with you today, but I'm showing you um, why I got the, the North Face fleece. And just in case you're wondering what style I chose, I just bought this. I've been a last minute packer for, um, <laughs> for this trip, to be honest with you. I think I just get too confident and then I end up just shopping last minute and thinking, oh, I wasn't ready for that. So um, the North uh, the North Face jacket that I bought is a Polar Tech Micro. It's called I think it's called I'm not sure what the name is, but here let me show you guys the label so you could see it is the it says Glacier F Z. So, and it doesn't tell me the name. So sorry about that, guys. But I actually got it on Amazon. Why I like this particular one, aside from the color, was because it has zippered pockets and it also has a zippered front as well. So that way, in case, um, if I want to have my ba bathing suit underneath, for example, and just have it open, depending, it gives me a little bit more flexibility with the actual, with the weather. Um, so that's basically, it's a fleece, it's warm. Great things about fleeces are that they are, um, they're really good at keeping you, obviously, warm without the bulk. So they they are a little bit bulky when they're packed, 
but I'll probably wear this on the flight because that'll keep me warm as well. I, I tend to get cold on flights and this is going to be one long journey. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me, but, I, I've, but I'm pretty sure we're going to spend at least um, a day each way traveling to and from um, South America. So it's going to be quite some time on the flight. So I want to be comfortable. Um, so this will definitely be joining me, but it doesn't weigh anything. Um, oh, and here's a really... Um, this is, this is something I bought on Amazon Prime Day, and I've got to show it to you guys before I carry on. It is my brand new, the little, um, it's a little, what is it, to weigh things on. It's a little scale. It's a digital scale. I bought this digital scale because previously I'd spoken about um, to really pack ultralight, especially when you're trying to pack for um, for for limited weight allowances is actually weighing the clothing that you take and I try to stick to a um, I think it's um like one to two ounce per item I think I'm not sure but that way kind of um, I bought one of these little digital scales it's by this company called Salter it was just a deal on Prime Day so I plan to then weigh all the items afterwards so I just thought I'd share that with you really quickly so completely switching gears for a moment I have um, now I've shared with you what I'm planning to wear on to keep me warm on the boat warm and dry on top now for the bottom um, what one what our um, travel fashion go readers recommended was to take um, leggings she said that she lived on her leggings during her live aboard in the Galapagos so I plan to take my Zella leggings um, we Zella is a favorite brand from TFG and our readers absolutely love it it's so good. Um, it's Zella is a Nordstrom brand. So the reason why I am sh kind of second, um, I'm a bit hesitant about put having just the leggings for the actual liveaboard is because in between dives I might be cold. But because if my body's moist and you know it's the oceany salt water feeling, yes, I can rinse off and have a shower. But sometimes, depending on the weather, the your body kind of retains a little bit of moisture after afterwards. So I want to have some pants or trousers that are going to be moisture repellent and a little bit more so than the Zella leggings. And I'd rather keep the Zella leggings to wear for this for um, the evening times once I'm done diving and I just stay and I can just stay warm for the rest of the evening. So with that being said, I think the pants I will be taking for um, the daytime during the live aboard in between dives if I'm cold um, are a pair of anatomy pants. Why anatomy pants are awesome. It's all in the fabric. And if you don't if you're not familiar with anatomy, um, this is the name of this brand. Um, these pants are so versatile. The fabric is quick dry. It is um, really lightweight. They probably weigh just a few ounces, and I'll weigh them in my um, in my new little in my little digital scale later on. But they're so lightweight. They're versatile. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. You can take them to um, to a mountain. You can wear them on a boat. You can take them wear them on a at a, on a city trip. You can even dress them up if you needed to go to a meeting um, for work while you were traveling. So that's why I feel really strongly about anatomy. And that's um, one of the reasons why I recommend them. And if I would wear travel pants on my travels, it would be an anatomy pant. I never travel without my Adea layering tank. And um, and you guys have, I found this, I think in 2014 or 2013, this brand, I found it. And I swear, the one time I didn't take I wasn't, um, I didn't take my tank, this one, you know, really basic layering tank. I freaked out and I messaged them and they FedExed me one right away because it was for my honeymoon. And the reason why I love this tank, even though it's not new, I'm going to share it with you guys right now, is it's um, the Adea brand, but it's quick wash, it's um, quick dry, easy to wear, it's super um, versatile fabric, it can even look a little bit dressy, you can wear it underneath as a, as a layering top, underneath other things, and I like it because it's just a nice basic top I can then wear with this. If I were to use a skirt, for example, if I were to button this up and make it a skirt, then I could just wear it with the Adea tank top and then throw on some jewelry and that'll just be a nice you know, something for the beach, or I could even dress it up for the evenings if I wanted to. Once I finalize my travel wardrobe for my big trip to the Galapagos, I will um, definitely be sharing it with you guys.
My name is Alex. I'm with Travel Fashion Girl, where we show women how to travel carry-on only and um, for any destination in the entire world. 